much gifts to my and then they. Uh, pull, pull up the walkout for a second. See if you can pull up Israel out of Sanya's walkout because it is pretty funny. And if you guys haven't seen it, I guess the people are there's mixed reactions. Harrington in his notes, I guess he called it a gay ass walkout or something like that. Um, I got no problem with the walkout. Yeah, do that again. We need that as a gift. Did you, did you say you don't have a problem with the walkout? I had no problem with the walkout. I got no problem with the walkout. <laughs> Put down the problem with I got no problem with the walkout. Look, if you would have lost, you would look like a jerk off. Well, that's what I said. That's what I said. Listen, I'll be honest. When it started happening, and then some, it went to like that tunnel, yeah. and it just showed him walk, uh, some guy walking out, I was like, hold on. This isn't normal. You know, I'm in the production side of things these days. I kind of know. I'm like, right. hold on. We got something special. And they walk out, and they start doing that thing. And... When the three of them, those three extras, you know, they were doing the little thing, I wasn't into that. I was like, okay. You can pull it up while he's talking about it. This fine. is a little bit lame. But then when Adesanya came out and he did his little thing, I mean, listen, the guy can dance. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He can dance, he's got the moves, he can fucking break dance. He says, listen, it seems like there's nothing that Adesanya can't do. Yeah, there's the guy. I'm like, yeah, the, what's going on with this dude? Can you give it some volume? I'll listen to it. I want to hear it. It's fine. Just skip it on a little minute there, please, yeah, Mike. Yeah. And maybe regular time. Yeah. Okay. And I thought Harrington was bad at this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Brian. So yeah, they got these guys, they start dancing. Yeah, this is the, at first this bit, I, I wasn't too keen on this bit, only because I didn't know where it was going. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? Why are, why are the Jabberwockies coming out and fucking doing your performance? I'm like, who's this dickhead? Yeah. Was it, why, why is he mean mugging me through the camera? So, three Puerto Rican guys? Like, yeah. Are these guys even supposed to be there? <laughs> I'm like, that's the worst hacker I've ever seen in my life. What's funny is I didn't even see the full, um, the full dance. I only saw when Adesanya comes out. Yeah. In the clip. So, so he comes out, of course. But right, listen, let's, we don't need to watch him. We don't need to watch him. We get the idea. He comes out and he nails it and they do a cool little dance. And, you know, the, the guy is, uh, he's charismatic as hell. One he's of the most. He's being entertaining. He's, he's being, being entertaining, being a, being a showman. And I was like, you know. I wasn't sure how to feel because I was like, dude, he better win this fucking fight because it's all well and good. If you come out like that, you put a show on, you have to win. You have to win. Otherwise, you look like the biggest dickhead. Dude, if he had a choreographed dance routine and then got knocked the fuck out, <laughs> holy shit, that would be hilarious. But, and this goes into what Adesanya says and is absolutely right, you know, I mean, it goes into his confidence. I mean, he knew and he spoke all week that you know, like a guy that was going to go out there and win that fight mm. and going out there and putting, doing that dance, doing that performance, of course that puts you under extra pressure. Of course it does, but... You know how much energy it takes to do a fucking backflip? I would be out of breath. I wouldn't be able to make it to the cage if I tried to do one backflip attempt. Well, we talked about it with that guy, Michelle Pajera, the other week. I don't think you saw that one either. I did, again, going back to the research of side of things. You know, but the guy backflipped all over the place and got and gassed. Oh, yeah. Ran out of steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was awesome. It was, it was awesome. cool. You know, here's the thing. You like the attempt or don't like the attempt. I, I'll put it in the same category. We talk about Colby Covington all the time. We talk about these guys that... How on earth are you going to put Colby and Adesanya based on that dance in the same sentence? Go ahead. Watch. Um, Can you break dance? No, I can't dance. Have sure. you ever tried to break dance? No. Come I, on. Come like, on. I think everybody... Mike, what about you? Okay. you you've tried to break dance? You can break dance? I think everybody, when they're on the bone at some point, when they're younger, is like, I wonder if I can do that shit. Yeah, you can. Yeah, and you can't. That's how I know I can't. That's how I know I can't. Because I've tried. I can barely walk. But certainly now with my two knees, I fucking definitely can't I walk. mean, to lift my body off the ground with just my hands, do you know how difficult that would be? Can you do that? Can you just do that move? I, I, I can do the... What, what is it? The worm? What do you mean, no? No, I'm, so, I'm saying you can't lift your body off the ground with, like, just, two hands. just your hands. Rebecca, I no, can no, do anything I want. Babe. Listen, if you put your mind to it, no. you conceive, believe, achieve, <laughs> shut the fuck up. She knows. That's at you. She sees you in that breath of missionary position. So the idea that you're fucking putting all your weights on your own. I, I, I can do the worm. Okay. I can worm it up, bad boy. You know, I, I, listen, once I get my knee replacement, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you're you know, professional dancing. Fucking Americans got talent. That's dancing where we're going. Dancing with the stars. Hey. Yeah. Woo. Um, no, I, I'll tell you how I compare it to uh, Colby. <clears throat> it's just he's being a showman in one way or another. It's just a different type of showman. He is going above and beyond the normal straight and narrow, which is obviously you got to win. Obviously, you have to be a badass. Obviously, you have to be able to knock motherfuckers out. 
that is what you guys do. You're professional fighters. If you're and you're obviously you should be trying to be the absolute best in the world, but it's the guys that go a little bit above and beyond um, for in whatever way they do it. Those are the guys that stand out and are memorable. And whether you loved it or hated it, people are talking about Adesanya's not only his performance. See, that's the effect of Nigerian nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk when I'm not here, but when I pull up, I got the nightmare. The champ champ is here. Double champ. Triple C. There's only one triple champ. Ken Flo, Whitaker has this warrior spirit about him. He really considers himself a warrior. He likes the taste of his own blood. He loves to break his hands in the octagon. He says that's the best place to break your hand. And he was even able to crack a smile backstage shortly after the fight. This was his first loss since 2014. And I know Joe Rogan and others have quickly lauded him for the way he handled defeat. He's as classy as it gets. I mean, I'll go buy a fucking Robert Whitaker fight kit right now. But I will say... You and DC handle championship losses a lot differently than this guy does. Not to say you don't do it with class, right? Yeah. But I think he just loves fighting to such an extent yeah. that, uh, you know, he'll just live to fight another day and, and didn't seem to take this as hard as I thought he would, given the backdrop that seemed to be a budding rivalry between, you know, the Aussie and the Kiwi. Yeah, you know, and I think the other thing is, is that as a fighter, you need to realize that only one person can win, right? Often there's not a lot of whole, not a whole lot of draws in mixed martial arts. Yeah. I also feel this is a young champion that most likely had a lot of pressure on him. I, I mean, it's different in that he's in a country in Australia where they're all supporting him. And you, you said it best yourself of how much they love that guy. I mean, that is a lot of pressure. Everywhere he yeah. goes, he's oh. their champion. He he's is Michael Jordan over there. He is their champion, right? So that is a lot of pressure to deal with. So in, in some ways, I, I think it's almost a relief off of his back. I think over time, it's that, that uh, pain is probably going to set in. I also think the guy really is a class act. He realizes that he's defeated a lot of great fighters in his day. It could have gone the other way. Um, I think he, he definitely knows how vulnerable he is in mixed martial arts. And um, absolute kudos to, to Robert Whitaker for the kind of class that he shows. He's a quiet guy, a true gentleman of the sport. Uh, I have, I have uh, no doubts that this is a guy who will get back to the championship uh, fight. 